needed the run today and uh, was really hitting his straps late on, the two-year-old. So number nine, Minister Without in second. Third will go to number two, Pure Wisdom. Nice improved performance from the four-year-old. And back in fourth was number three, Great Joe from the Grant Maroon Yard. Returning to the winner's enclosure for race two is number 14, We Old Chummies from the Paul Peter Stable. Well done to Messrs. Kali and Chetty and Naidu. Two-year-old bay cult by philanthropist is out of the Vame Ula Va, bred by Mr. Mayesh Chetty and 80,000 rand by. Warren Kennedy is the winning rider. Second was number nine, Minister Without. Third to two, Pure Wisdom. Fourth was three, Great Joan. Fifth to 16, Nordic Queen. Race number two, the first leg of the place accumulator has been won by the improving individual number 14, Wheel Chomis. Well done to Paul Peter, well done to all the owners over here and of course to Warren Kennedy. They fresh off uh, their victory, the KZN Falcons over the weekend. So well done to uh, Warren and the team and um, whilst we're just chatting off here, I don't think he quite lived up to his name over here, Wheel Chomis, because I see um, he's hit you quite badly on the nose over there but um, hopefully you'll be okay. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Look, it's just a superficial wound. Um, not really his fault. You know, horses on either side of me jumped in front of him and I had to take drastic measures to, to keep off the heels and, and stop him from cutting into them and himself maybe clipping heels and falling and getting hurt. So, yeah, his head came up, hit me in the face. But uh, we both recovered very quickly. And, um, yeah, he was tracking him very nicely. Just waited for the split to come. Horse in front of me was very green running left and right, so I didn't know which, quite which way to take him on. But uh, eventually he went the one way and I decided to go the other end. So it was quick and smart to the line. I'm not going to ask you about the rest of your rides. I'll leave that up to Tony. But the one horse I do want to ask you about for the punters, Miss Tycoon from the Candace Dawson Yard. Yeah, look, uh, she's got to get it right sometime. I mean, she's improving all the time. Uh, the 2-4 is absolutely no problem. She, she runs second of a 2-6. Um, 
she's beaten the field before, so if all, if all holds up, she should win that race. Look, there's no pace in the race. I'd like to follow one, but if need be, I'll be in front. Um, not ideal, but, uh, you know, these, these weak horses, you can't really give a lot of starts and that sort of thing. So if I have to lead, I will lead and, um, yeah, have everything my own way and hopefully she brings it home. Happy hunting ground for you, uh, Was, and I know you've got a busy day, so go get some water and hopefully we'll chat to you later. Yeah, thanks very much once again to the Peter family. Thanks very much. Nice to have Tony here. You know, Tony's always the one going to Durban and that sort of thing. <laughs> nice to have him here to lead the winners in. And uh, to Mr. Peter, thank you very much. And to the owners, well done. Well done to Warren Kennedy. Let's get uh, Tony into the house. Good to have you in town. I know that um, uh, you didn't draw the uh, straw to go down to Durban just yet, but a uh, nice individual this. I'm not going to say we all chummies because he gave Warren a nasty blow over there. Yeah, I actually thought he was going to come down at the jump. Uh, he took quite a nasty bump, and I think Warren did well to stay on. Um, well written by Warren. I just would like to thank a really nice group of owners here, Mayesh, Cody, Rajan. They're such amazing people to train for, and um, they put no pressure on. This horse showed us quite a bit early, and we gave them quite a bit of confidence. And the first two runs, he never brought it to the course. I think he was just green because we slapped a pair of blinkers on and he ran a much, much improved race last time and he's just come on so much at home and I don't think he'll stop here. And just talking about the jockey, obviously Warren Kennedy, he's a super professional and always good to have him on your team. Yeah, Warren's a superstar. We chal really well and he, he really does well on the horses that he rides for us and um, the feedback's amazing and... It's, it's really nice to have uh, a guy like him aboard. Tony, now you've got a busy day. I know that uh, when we spoke to your dad uh, over the last few meetings, is it fair to say that uh, punters must just include all your runners in exotics? Yeah, the stables, the horses are running well and we've got quite nice horses with decent form running today and I can't pinpoint at any. they all well. Okay. Super. Well done to you. Well done to the entire team. May it go from strength to strength. Thank you and well done to the team back at home. Well done to Tony Peter, well done to Keanu as well. He's also at hand uh, to lead in the winners. Of course, uh, to everybody back at home, Robin, Paul, it's a big uh, combination uh, that happens behind the scenes and they're starting to turn out the winners. It's not the first time we've seen this happen. Um, they've landed with number 14, Wheel Chomis. They've got a strong book of runners throughout the afternoon and I don't think it'll be the last time we speak to the Peters as well. So I think it's a fair start for uh, place accumulator backers. I know that uh, the first time I was well supported, but uh, if you listened up and didn't turn me on to mute, I know that a few social media platforms have um, gone to uh, say that they've put us on mute, but uh, we did advise it was very green and uh, was never going to uh, certainly uh, be at his best this afternoon. So Wheel Chomis has managed to open up the PA. Up next is the pick six. It's going to be a big pull. Get those bets together.